All right, hi everybody, my name is Troy Cooper. I'm a lecturer in the College of Communication and Information, particularly in instructional communication and research. <clears throat> so we basically teach the public speaking and um, English composition writing to uh, first year students primarily. My presentation is called My Year with Eli. It sounds a lot like a Nicholas Sparks uh, novel, but <laughs> I promise you that though it has some similarities, it's much more informative than romantic. <laughs> so today I'm going to share my experience sort of in a chronological fashion, what my motivations were for joining the Eli program, kind of what I got out of it during the process, and then a few takeaways that I think will uh, go into the rest of my college teaching career. So in the summer of 2016, I was thrown headfirst into the online teaching C, uh, having never taught online before. <coughs> Needless to say, teaching a public speaking class that in invo involves a group project, a multimodal group project, is a big, big endeavor. Uh, so it was a study in trial and error. Uh, some successes, many more monumental failures. Um, but that's why I was so excited when I learned about the Eli program and the kind of opportunities that came from it. So uh, when I saw the Eli program, I jumped on it, knowing that my teaching load was going to involve many more online classes and sort of the way the education is going, uh, I thought that it would be a great opportunity to get uh, some more information about it. The workshop did not disappoint. The people that I met there, the faculty learning community, community that I was uh, added into, and a lot of the activities and things during the actual summer workshop were things that I could implement into the course almost immediately, which I really uh, appreciated. So I went into my first uh, semester teaching online very, very excited. Woohoo! All right. Um, and I was even more excited because of some of the tools that I had learned about in the, the, the Eli Design Lab. Uh, and especially so Zoom. We've all talked about Zoom so far, I think. Uh, and having come from uh, learning about the previous tool, Adobe Connect, I think we can all agree that that is a trash program. Um, Zoom has been such a lifesaver uh, because it allows our students to present in a much clearer way and it's much more user friendly. Okay? Beyond the initial workshop, uh, Eli, the funding from Eli has allowed me to do some really cool things. Not the least of which was to attend the Lilly Conference in Austin, Texas uh, this past January to, um, to learn more about not, not only online teaching, but uh, online teaching from all different disciplines, all different kinds of people. One of the coolest sessions that I saw there was on team teaching online, which I actually got to implement because of what I learned at this thing. So this semester I'm actually teaching a class uh, called Information Literacy and Critical Thinking, in which me and two other instructors have decided to kind of group teach the class uh, by creating online modules that we share with each other and then just kind of adapt to our own class teaching, which has been a really great experience. Um, even so much so that we decided we're going to try to present at this next year's. Right? So this, the, the funding and the opportunities that were given to us through Eli and the, and the program have led to us uh, you know, maybe even publishing on it uh, in, some, in some respect here pretty soon. So not only that, some of the software that I learned about throughout my process in Eli has been really helpful as well. One that I cannot stress enough and I would encourage all of you to look into, it's called Dragon, naturally speaking. Uh, especially with using online content, accessibility has become a really big thing for me. And so dictation software to kind of give transcripts for your videos and that kind of thing has been really, really helpful and it's very inexpensive as well. Um, beyond that, the Eli program has also allowed me to think about online teaching in a new way. Uh, the faculty learning community that we were put into, we heard about this, I guess pretty much half of our community is here today, uh, is uh, facilitating community online. And so throughout the process of this faculty learning community, we've learned, I I've learned a lot by hearing from different perspectives, especially from different disciplines. Sometimes we get so stuck in our own disciplines and the ideas kind of rehash themselves because we're in the moment all the time. But hearing from other people and thinking about online teaching and different ideas for, for community engagement online from different people has been really effective. They already kind of went through this, but our, our kind of pro uh, product for the um, for the F FLC was to create this module. I won't go into it too much detail because you've already heard two different presentations on it, but I hope that we all are able to add to that and keep it going. So in summary, the e-learning uh, innovation initiative has been a fantastic experience, not only because it allowed me to kind of think about e-learning in a different way, but it kind of the biggest lesson that I took away from it is that you don't have to reinvent the wheel. Uh, and that there are so many resources here at UK and beyond, conferences, and all these just, just different things that I never would have thought of in terms of e-learning that I now know about because of the program. And so I'd like to thank everybody in all, all of the affiliated programs for giving me the opportunity. Thanks.